Well, it's the controversial illness affecting families around the country. And now a group of Australian neuroscientists are attempting to uncover the real reason kids suffer from attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. So here's what we know. ADHD is a biological disorder characterised by hyperactivity, inattention and impulsive behaviour. 7% of Australian children have been diagnosed with ADHD. Boys are three times more likely to suffer from the condition and the symptoms usually occur in early childhood. So here to explain how this new study could help children suffering from the condition, we're joined by Associate Professor Mark Belgrove from the Queensland Brain Institute. Good morning to you, Professor. Good morning, Lisa. Now, what are you hoping to achieve with this study? Uh, Lisa, this study is looking to identify genes for attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Uh, we have a number of good lines of evidence that suggest that ADHD has a strong genetic component. Uh, we have uh, two pr primary lines of evidence. The first is uh, familial risk profiles. Over the last few days I've received a lot of emails from families who are interested in getting involved in our studies and really these emails are telling a similar story that there might be a child in the family who has ADHD perhaps there's two children in the family and when the parents look back perhaps there are other relatives in the family cousins uncles grandfather who also have displayed uh, ADHD behavior and that's impaired them during their life that would the suggest second... that, that oh sorry go on sure uh, the second line of evidence comes from twin studies and the classic uh, twin design really compares identical uh, twins to non-identical twins and there the assumption is that in identical twins who share 100 percent of their genes uh, ADHD should be more prevalent than in non-identical twins who are no more alike than brother and sister and, and indeed a lot of studies across the world and including some in Australia have shown uh, that that is true. So that would suggest that you're going down the track of kids are just born with ADHD? Uh, certainly there are uh, learned behaviours that children with ADHD will develop but there is a strong biological component in our view, yes. Would you be hoping that um, when you get the results of this research it could lead to new treatments, for example, when it comes to prescribing drugs like Ritalin? Yes, I mean one of the uh, likely offshoots of this type of work is if, that we, if we are able to identify genes we can see uh, in which uh, biological systems, in which pathways in the brain uh, these genes are likely having a, a, a role or regulating brain function and from that then we might be able to either develop new drugs or target drugs better at those uh, systems that are likely to be impaired. Well, we spoke to psychologist Professor Robert Spillane last week who was of the very firm opinion that ADHD is a myth. Take a look. To assume immediately that a child who is argumentative who doesn't do his homework yep. is likely to interrupt a conversation which are all typical characteristics of children well, to argue that they're illnesses and then to drug them is to my mind totally unwarranted so professor spillane said that this was a behavioral problem not a medical one and what's needed is good old-fashioned parenting and plenty of firm boundaries what's your reaction to that uh, the condition is a behavioural uh, condition. Professor uh, Spillane is correct in that view. Uh, the, do the, the disorder is diagnosed based on uh, parental and parent, uh, uh, teacher reports, for example. Uh, but that is also true of many other, in fact, most other uh, mental uh, conditions or psychiatric conditions. We do lack objective biological markers for disorders like ADHD. But uh, that doesn't mean that the condition isn't impairing. It doesn't mean that the condition doesn't require treatment, in my view. All right. Well, you're after 600 families to take part in the study. Um, so how can they get involved? Uh, we have a website, Lisa, uh, www.adhdstudy.com.au. Uh, if they uh, go to that website, they'll find details of our uh, local contacts in Melbourne at the Royal Children's Hospital in Brisbane at the MARTA Children's Hospital and in Perth at the Curtin University of Technology and all the relevant contact details are there and yes we'd love to hear from families who are interested in participating. Okay Professor we'll make sure we keep in touch we'd be fascinated to find out what the results of that study are. Thanks very much for your time this morning. Thank you.